I'm Carla Sheridan, and I'm here to tell you today about St. Oscar Romero. St. Oscar Romero is a patron saint of the Americas and of El Salvador, often referred to as San Romero in El Salvador. He was born on August 15th, 1917, into a family of 10 in, El Sal in Ciudad Barrios, El Salvador. His dad was in charge of the telegraph office, and he often helped his dad deliver telegraphs. He also helped with um, carpentry, making doors and tables and chairs. When Oscar was 14, he decided he wanted to be a priest, and he went to study in the junior seminary. But his mother became ill, and he went to work in the gold mine for three months. In 1937, Oscar went to Rome to study, and he stayed there during World War II. During that time, he lost his father and his brother. In 1942, Romero was ordained a priest and returned to El Salvador. He became famous for his sermons and for his work with the poor. He enjoyed visiting orphans, organizing catechism classes, and working with others in the church to help the poor. In 1970, he was made a bishop. Violence in El Salvador was increasing by the mid-70s. The government and the army were killing the poor, people who stood up for their rights. Romero spoke out against this violence, and he also comforted the families that lost loved ones during these murders and kidnappings. In February 1977, Romero became the Archbishop of San Salvador, which is the capital of El Salvador. Some rich people were happy because they thought he would stop the priests that were helping the poor stand up for their rights. Three weeks later, Romero's good friend, Father Rutulio Grande, was shot and killed along with two companions because of the work he did with the poor. He had been working with them, teaching them about the Bible, and teaching them that they could stand up for their rights. The murder of Oscar's friend deeply affected him, and he spoke out against it. He took action immediately, and which belied his conservative approach. He allowed only one mass the following Sunday in the cathedral to speak out against these murders. This also showed the solidarity among the clergy by having just the one mass that weekend. Throughout the 20th century, the rich elite oligarchs dominated the Salvadoran economy, and they benefited from a system that denied the poor their basic rights and the possibility of overcoming subjugation and poverty. The Salvadoran army, through an implicit agreement, defended the oligarchs' economic interests and used violence to maintain the status quo. As the violence continued, Romero continued to speak out against this. Every sermon was broadcast by radio with the whole country listening. He became a hero to the Salvadoran poor as he forcefully advocated for them, for the protection of human rights, and for the need for nonviolent change in El Salvador. He repeatedly criticized the military for torturing and killing these people and the oligarchs for underwriting the violence. On the night before he died, he was celebrating Mass. Archbishop Romero appealed to the army, the National Guard, the police, and the garrisons to stop the killing of their own people and reminded them that the law of God said, do not kill. He reminded them that they were not obligated to follow the orders of their superiors if it was against the law of God. Now is the time to regain your conscience and obey the dictates of God rather than the command of sin. In the name of God, cease the repression. Soon after his homily, as Romero turned to the communion hosts and wine, a deafening explosion crackled through the chapel and Bishop, Archbishop Romero fell to the floor. Despite the extreme efforts of those in attendance, Romero died on the way to the hospital in the back of a pickup. According to the nun that was in the pickup, 
with him. His last words were, may God have mercy on the assassins. His funeral was celebrated in the plaza outside the cathedral and drew an estimated 250,000 mourners from around the world. On February 13th, 2015, Pope Francis authorized a decree recognizing Oscar Romero as a martyr for the faith. His beatification took place in San Salvador on May 23rd, 2015, and he was canonized on October 14th, 2018. Remember, this could be you.